Hi Pond Peeps, Jen here. Okay, so it is cold here today, as you can see by my frozen waterfall and my frozen ice. I wanted to talk to you guys about this. So you can leave your waterfall running as long as you know that it's not gonna you know, cause problems and um, create ice dams, etc. Problem with that is we can't really guarantee any of that. So, a couple of things. Water that's moving can't freeze, right? But it can freeze all around it. When you have a freeze happening on natural rock, like over here in the corner, you can actually have a, um, a piece of ice will conform in between the layers and then it can split out. So in the spring, you're gonna wanna look for that. Second, this is frozen all the way over the top. That's okay, except um, carbon dioxide can build up in there. So what happens is if we have this frozen all the way across, we have a couple options. Option number one, it keeps freezing and building up and then our water level in there decreases, which means our fish lose their water. Second thing is the carbon dioxide builds up and can also kill the fish. First thing everybody wants to do is take a pick, bam, 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 and try to break that up. Don't do that. If you break the ice, you can actually mess up the fish's inner ear, which causes them to have trouble swimming later and can possibly kill them. Um, one of the things you can do beforehand is you can put like a little rubber ball in the pond so that it you know pushes against that so it never freezes all the way across. Second thing is if you've already had this happen, which clearly I have because we were not expecting a you know four degree cold snap, um, you can take a hot pan. Now listen very carefully. Take the hot pan, place it on top of the ice, and let it melt it out just with the heat of the pan. Do not, I repeat, do not pour hot water directly onto here because that's temperature um, pollution. Basically, you can injure the fish again. So, you know, if it were me, since this is thinner right about here, that's where I would probably hold my hot pan to try to get it to open up right there, okay? So don't hit ice with a pick because you can shatter the inner ear of your fish. Don't pour hot water onto the ice directly but you do want to try to get an opening in here for the, the air to get through. Okay? Happy potting. Stay warm.